Dear learners today, the focus of my presentation is meaning and steps of the scientific method. Watch the entire video. The video is followed by MCQs. Let us first try to understand meaning of scientific method in research. The scientific method is a systematic, logical approach to empirical investigation and problem solving used in various fields, including educational research. It serves as a structured framework for generating, testing, and refining knowledge. The scientific method is a structured, evidence-based approach to research that allows educators and researchers in the education sector to investigate, understand, and improve various aspects of education. It promotes objectivity, rigor, and the generation of knowledge that can inform educational practices and policies. Now let me discuss various steps of the scientific method. 1. Empirical observation. The scientific method begins with empirical observation, meaning that it relies on observable and measurable phenomena. In the education sector, this could involve data collection on student performance, classroom behavior, or teaching strategies. Example, an educator observes that students who receive individualized feedback on their assignments tend to show improved academic performance. 2. Question formulation. Based on observations, researchers or educators formulate research questions. These questions are clear, specific, and testable, guiding the research process. Example, does providing individualized feedback to students lead to better learning outcomes in mathematics? 3. Hypothesis. A hypothesis is a tentative explanation or prediction based on existing knowledge and the research question. It serves as a testable proposition that can be validated or refuted through research. Example, providing individualized feedback to students will result in improved math scores compared to a control group that does not receive feedback. 4. Experimentation. In the education sector, this step may involve designing and conducting experiments, implementing new teaching strategies, or collecting data. Researchers gather information and evidence to test the hypothesis. Example, the school implements both the old and new math curriculum in different 7th grade classes and collects data on student performance. 5. Data Collection and Analysis Data is collected through various methods, such as surveys, tests, or observations. Researchers analyze the data to draw conclusions. Example, test scores and feedback from students are collected and analyzed for both curriculum approaches. 6. Conclusion Based on the data analysis, researchers draw conclusions regarding the hypothesis. The conclusions can either support or reject the initial hypothesis. Example, analysis reveals that the old curriculum produced significantly better math scores compared to the new one. 7. Communication of findings. Researchers share their findings with the educational community. This may include publishing research papers, presenting at conferences, or informing school administrators and educators. Example, the research results are presented to the school board and faculty, highlighting the need to revert to the old curriculum for 7th grade math. 8. Further inquiry. The scientific method often leads to further questions and research. This iterative process allows for continuous improvement and deeper understanding. Example, further studies may explore ways to modify the old curriculum to make it more effective or investigate other factors affecting student performance. Let us now solve some important MCQ type questions. Question 1 is. What is the scientific method in research? A. A set of arbitrary steps to solve any problem. B. A structured approach to empirical investigation and problem solving. C. A process that relies solely on intuition and personal beliefs. D. An outdated method no longer used in modern research. Correct answer is B. A structured approach to empirical investigation and problem solving. Question 2 is, which step of the scientific method involves making testable predictions? 
A. Observation B. Data Analysis C. Hypothesis D. Conclusion Correct Answer is C. Hypothesis. Question 3 is What is an example of an observation in the education sector? A student's hypothesis for a science project. B. The implementation of a new teaching method. C. A teacher's prediction about student's future performance. D. A drop in student attendance during winter months. Correct answer is D. A drop in student attendance during winter months. Question 4 is In the scientific method, what is the purpose of data analysis? To make observations. B. To formulate a hypothesis. C. To draw conclusions based on evidence. D. To generate research questions. Correct answer is C. To draw conclusions based on evidence. Question 5 is Which step of the scientific method involves testing the hypothesis through experiments or data collection? Observation B. Data analysis C. Hypothesis D. Experimentation Correct answer D. Experimentation Question 6 is In an educational research example, what might be a hypothesis? Observing students in a classroom setting can lead to valuable insights. B. Implementing a new teaching strategy will result in better student engagement. C. Providing individualized feedback to students will improve their performance. D. Teachers play a minor role in students' academic success. Correct answer is C. Providing individualized feedback to students will improve their performance. Question 7 is which of the following is not a characteristic of the scientific method? Reliance on evidence B. Objectivity C. Subjectivity D. Precision correct answer is C. Subjectivity question 8 is What often follows the conclusion in the scientific method, leading to further inquiry and research? Data analysis B. Hypothesis C. Communication of findings D. Further inquiry correct answer is D. Further inquiry. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel Education and Teacher Education at Shokin Bilal.